What is up? I'm Rack with River Life, and this is Fishy Biz Aquatics, my man Drew. <laughs> Fishy Biz Aquatics and Rack. <laughs> Biz, what I've been up to, I've got a 40 gallon donated with the tank and stand. Been thinking about where to put that. Um, shout out to Mr. and Mrs. Holston for uh, donating the tank and stand. I just got it put up and put water in it. Um, been thinking about what to do with the 75 gallon. Uh, a lot of people love the fish in here, they've been doing a great job. I actually have another holder. Uh, amongst my uh, other OB Peacock female that has just finished spitting so I'll have uh, more fry and more more fry to deal with so uh, thinking about what to do there so that brings me to my 60 gallon where I have my OB fry grow out and uh, they're getting good and big then I have my bow front with my fresh new fry in there and uh, the little guy there with half the body, um, I was thinking he was just kind of like in the current and did, but no, he's still trying to eat, and so I affectionately call him Haffy. So uh, Haffy is uh, just a head and half a body, um, part of the batch of fry that were uh, just recently spit. But uh, they are in here about to grow out. Uh, they're looking good and getting big. Um, feisty and feeding. So uh, they're doing good, trying to get them together there. Uh, they are uh, all OB as far as I can tell now, uh, especially coming from the same mother as the other OBs. And I'm pretty sure it's the same father. I can never catch them um, in breeding action. So um, I believe it is the blueberry OB since he is tank boss. But uh, definitely as they grow out, we shall see some, some more coloration and see what they look like. And here's the 40 gallon at the school classroom tank. And as you can see, um, I was in the midst of changing the puffer into a larger tank. And I put him in there for the time being and he came right back to life. Uh, it's like he never left. He's back in there with his compadres. Um, not as many of them, um, but the Mbuna are still in there. And uh, he just seems a lot happier even though he is eating a couple of flakes I did give him his blood worms which he did eat before the Mbuna got to it so they're looking good and I know everybody's out there like hey yo biz what else you been doing aside from my day-to-day -day job and family man and coach and teacher and all of that been uh, shipping off fishy biz apparel that's hoodies and tees and towels i've also been in quite a few chats and uh i'm gonna leave you guys with that <laughs> yeah so uh also wanted to uh hit on on um the best in st louis we um used to throw every year a um it's called hoop it up and they put up 150 uh, out, outside courts and you go heads up real. my lives ain't the only lives I be in I be in everybody you else ain't got nothing to do. it's not like you do a lesson plan you just tell everybody to you, know, you have people watching movies in your, in your um, channel your, um, your class all day long Fish and Fish Aquatics if you haven't already picked up um, Warrior Planet Tanks please do so for me I appreciate it Fishy, that is gross. Is Fishy here? Or is he just, ah, oh, yeah, he's here. He is listening or something. 
He's cleaning the hallways for uh, parent-teacher conferences. That's what he's doing. The janitors got to work overtime. Bunch of lot of fish. Bunch of fish. <laughs> Look for a new manager. Uh, she misses. He's driving me crazy with it. Why do you do this? You're afraid to put it in the comments, aren't you? He's sending me messages. <laughs> Loving those Asian American fish in the pack, John. Just saying. <laughs> so we had this joke at the at, at Aquashella. It was me and it was Drew, Fishy Biz, and Mr. Three Thousand. I don't even remember what his real name is drew told me but uh he's mr 3000 and we started talking about how these fish are not african cichlids these are fish that originate in africa but they are currently in america oh. so they are african-american <laughs> cichlids and we all got a kick out of that and so now he's saying the asian american i'm not gonna say it that way because it's just gonna sound weird we we hung out a lot just the three of us and that was awesome because we could talk about YouTube stuff, and we could talk about... We didn't talk about fish hardly at all. We talked about YouTube stuff, and that, I think, is going to be what'll be good about the aquatic experience this year, because there's not going to be as many YouTubers there. I thought you were going to say, because there's not going to be fishy biz there. <laughs> well, yeah, but... Uh, in my live, because I believe I'm not live, because it's not really... Oh, I'm, I'm live. Okay. I feel, because uh, my thing, I went on there and everything said it got messed up. I kept on putting that, like, five minutes behind, 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 because, dang, Fishy Biz was, <laughs> was going too long. Oh, I'm giving crap, no, but that guy is awesome. Okay, I want to get the take so, off, and you get the take off. Fishy Biz. Go ahead. Sorry, can I finish talking? No, yeah. <laughs> so, you were going to say something about Fishy Biz? Uh, he just said your daughter's hot. So, um, I, I should have known it was something positive about you that you wanted to shout out about. Professional aquatics with the exquisite touch, and you're watching River Life. They live on aquatics. You don't need to play the straight blade. I don't want to play the straight So, as you can see, it's been a it's been a fun time for the biz. Uh, shout out to uh, Riley at Fish Keep in Jamaica, Fish Keep in Jamaica at YouTube, his series Fish Tubers, our creators, uh, also showcase uh, a bunch of fish tubers and YouTubers that you may not know that definitely need to check out, just like the ones I featured here in my vid. But uh, that's it. I'm doing my thing, you know, getting in where I fit in the way that I should. Fishy Biz Aquatics, baby. So. Like, comment, share, and get at me.